Well, there it is. There's an at-home test. Um, Rory woke up today uh, with a fever of a hundred and something, um, hundred point two or something like that, and uh, he's had a headache for like two days now, so thought I'd go and uh, now that they have these at-home tests, might as well try them out. Um, and there are two of them, so if he tests positive, then I can go ahead and test myself. <sighs> but yeah, this sucks, dude. I'm so tired of this pandemic. I could absolutely scream, as can, like, millions of people, I'm sure. So I'm not alone and special or anything. But yeah, gonna go home and shove this poor thing. <laughs> shove my poor man's nose full of nasal swab and see what we find out. Nurse dog. So it is a nasal swab one. Mm hmm. There are two of them. And we'll uh, see what happens. Who's new nurse puppy? It's a nurse dog. Two applicators and these things. Cat. There's not nice. Cat. Looks pretty negative to me. So even despite it coming back negative, uh, we tried out some delicious grilled cheeses and soups from this place down the street called The Soup Peddler. Um, I'd delivered for them for Uber Eats a few times and finally tried them out and they were super good maybe a little pricey but uh really tasty so uh no regrets i worked on a little comic here about some fish um started out doodling out the outline um or rather the comic itself itself i guess in procreate uh which i've been using for a little bit and really really enjoy um and i i I drew it out in my Crescent Render sketchbook, um, which is kind of cumbersome with ink because it sort of runs. Um, the lines aren't precise and I'm sort of OCD about that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, scanned it in and um, colored it in Procreate. And uh, yeah, I guess this took a few days, um, but I really really enjoy coloring stuff in this program. It's really simple. There's not a lot to it. Um, my process is generally using this cloud brush um, and just coloring in the areas that I want and then erasing around it. Uh, I don't know if there's an easier way, but this is my way <laughs> and uh, yeah, it works.
Uh, also, this week I attended a vendor show in Fredericksburg um, at this resort that I guess had just started um, hosting this vendor event. And uh, there are a lot of people selling handcrafted goods, um, food and wine and um, CBD stuff and candles and cookies and things. Um, I was kind of the only one there that actually had, um, artwork for sale, so I felt a little out of my, uh, comfort zone or something. Um, but later on in the evening, I actually started getting people showing up to my, to my, uh, table, and, um, I don't know, I kind of left there with my cheeks hurting. It, it feels really good to... Um, be around people that look at your work and and it brings a smile to their faces. That's kind of the whole point, you know? And when you can do that and you see it happening in real time, um, like sharing stuff on the internet is one thing, but when you can show up in person and sell things uh, or just exi- you know, display your work, Uh, and people get a kick out of it. It just makes it all worth it. Yeah, it's a little after 11 on a lovely Sunday uh, morning, I guess. I was about to say afternoon, but it is not afternoon because it would need to be noon first, of course. Um, Keeping my eye on Hurricane Ida, which is currently ransacking the coast of Louisiana and Mississippi right now. Coasts, plural. And uh, I've got a friend... Uh, a little outside of New Orleans and uh, keeping her in my thoughts and any of you that may be watching or maybe not because your power's off um, keeping you guys in mind I hope you're staying safe and uh, if you've had to evacuate um, you know good luck and uh, keep your friends and family safe and close and uh, yeah you're in my thoughts today. Uh, Otherwise, all the rest of you, hope you have a good week, and uh, I will see you next weekend.